Margate. So join us after the country track's weather when all will be revealed. I'm ending my travels below ground. I've ventured underneath the foundations of Sarah Vickery's house, following in the footsteps of thousands of travellers before me to see the secret that lies below. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this place is amazing. It is, isn't it? Quite well expected. So how come you own this place? I mean, how on earth did that happen? Well, I came here um, regularly as a child. It was, it was a treat for me to be brought to the Grosso and when we came to Margate on holiday. And then um, I'd never been back as an adult. But I saw that it was for sale and I came down to look at it and the whole thing just sort of grew legs and ran off and I couldn't stop it. Was it like an impulsive buy then? It was, was it? a little bit, yeah. <laughs> My goodness. And, I mean, well, what is it then? I mean, this is a lot of shells. It's a lot of shells. It's 4.6 million shells. Um, and we don't actually know what it is. That's, that's the, that's the you know, $4.6 million question, really. Um, it was discovered in 1835. Um, by accident, we think by some, uh, some children playing. Um, it's been open to the public as a tourist attraction since 1837. And when so it was discovered, it was like this? It was, yes, although in a better state of repair. Um, the Victorians lit the grotto with gas lamps for many years, which is why we've got this sort of wonderful silvery grey colour. Originally, oh. it would have been very brightly coloured down here. So we're almost seeing it in black and white compared to what it originally would have been. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Um, and because we've not found the records that predate the discovery, we don't know what it was built for, or when it was built, or, or even who built it. Um, there are lots and lots of theories, obviously, but we don't have any, any firm answers. The actual shells give very little away with regard to the grotto's purpose. They're mostly standard British seaside shells, cockles, winkles and oysters, thought to have come from Pegwell near Ramsgate, just eight miles away. So just getting all the shells here and sorting them and cleaning them, that would have been a massive job, even before you've dug the tunnels out, designed it, started sticking them on the walls. It would have been really time consuming. And what do you have to do now to keep this going? I mean, how do you look after the place? Well, the Grotto's Grade 1 listed and it's on the Buildings at Risk Register as well because we do have some quite serious conservation problems. So what I have to do is, is keep talking to English Heritage about what the right thing to do is. I'm not an expert, obviously, I'm just the custodian. Is there any way of carbon dating or, or finding out the age through, I suppose, scientific means? Maybe there is. Um, probably not in terms of dating the shells. I would say the key lies with the mortar. Right. At the moment, though, um, I want all the money, any that there is, to be ploughed into the conservation works, because otherwise we're in danger of dating it a week before it falls down. Mm -hmm. But um, it's really important, I think, that people can see the grotto and can appreciate it. Yeah. Um, and people really do actually respect it. We have very little damage from our customers. Yeah. I've got to put you on the spot. I mean, what could it have been? I mean, it's... Just remarkable, isn't it? It is remarkable. Most people tend to settle on it being a devotional space of some kind. Um, you've got your, your sort of pagan lovers over there in one <laughs> camp. Um, or your sort of slightly more medieval, you've got your Knights Templar people here. Um, and then there are people who think that actually this was built as some kind of incredible garden fancy. And so you've got your sort of Georgian folly mongerers as well. Yeah. So you kind of, they kind of fit into three camps and then there's the odd people that think that aliens built it. Oh right, okay, the fourth, the far out camp. <laughs> and lots of theories indeed, yeah. What does it mean to you, you know, you, you admired it as a child to now be the custodian of it? It's, um, it's, it's a much bigger responsibility. I didn't, I didn't appreciate at all that the grotto would give me sleepless nights. I didn't see that one coming. Um, it's a big responsibility. I worry about it a lot. Um, and, and I guess it's quite easy to become a, a bit blasé about the fact that this is under your living room. Mm. Um, but I, do, I still love it. And, um, and my most important job is to look after it. My journey through Kent has been something of a learning curve. And remarkably, my journey ends here, underneath Margate, in a mysterious shell-filled grotto.